hello everybody welcome back to the channel i hope y'all are doing good yes yeah, so we are going to make some db on today's recipe and uh, we are going to use the air fryer for that i hope y'all are ready we are going to use lamb as the type of meat but you can use beef if you want to or maybe switch up to chicken for seasoning, I will start with the parsley flakes, some black pepper, no chicken bouillon, paprika, cayenne pepper, ginger powder, some salt. You definitely can go ahead and adjust these spices here to your preference. The meat is already cleaned, so I just wanted to mention that I usually do that before I start filming. It's quicker and easier that way. Also, the ingredients, they will all be listed down in the description box along with uh, the measurements and temperatures. Once the meat is well coated with the spices, we'll set it aside to marinate. I did let mine marinate for around 3 to 4 hours, but as they say, the longer the better. All we have to do after the meat is done getting, you know, marinated there, we'll wrap the meat in some parchment paper and aluminum foil as well. You know, depending on the quantity of meat that you have. I doubled mine because I wanted the package to be secured before placing it inside the air fryer. We're just going to air fry this at 400 degrees for like 45 minutes to an hour. Of course, that depends on the quantity of meat that you have and also how big the pieces are. I will now make my seasoned onions. For that, I will slice one large onion, just like this. Blend uh, some garlic, just to make the homemade garlic paste. Simply blend some garlic, uh, habanero pepper for a bit of spiciness, uh, some onion black pepper and a little bit of salt i forgot to add some salt in mine but yeah you definitely need some of it and that's it for the garlic paste to obtain something like this now you can just store this in your refrigerator and use it whenever you need it easy peasy go ahead with the spices of your choice i added some uh, parsley flakes some salt, more black pepper, mustard, lemon juice, some vegetable oil, and yeah, that's it. Mix thoroughly until the onions are well combined with the marinade, then set aside. Once you're done separating the meat from the juice, we're gonna set the juice aside to be used later if needed. As for the meat, just add the seasoned onions and wrap it. Same thing as we did earlier. The onions were a little bit too much. So I was like, let me just keep this remaining here to saute later in a little bit of oil. 
and add it as a side dish to the meat. All we have to do now is to air fry for an additional 15 minutes at the same temperature. And here is how I sauteed my onions. I told you of just a little bit of oil, not much. The meat is pretty much done now. Since I wanted the meat to caramelize a little, I will put it back in the oven to air fry for another 15 minutes, but this time leave it open. After, let's say four to five minutes, be sure to stir the meat a little, you know, to ensure all parts caramelize evenly. To obtain something like this, so beautiful and nicely cooked as well. Now for the last step, after placing the meat in a large frying pan, create a hollow in the center, then add in a lid coal. Mine came in in a package like this, so I'm just gonna grab one. Pour about one tablespoon of oil over the lid coal. The oil that you will use will be the one from the meat broth that we kept aside, this one and quickly cover with a lid and let it sit for approximately 10 to 15 minutes and just like that you got that smoky flavor i paired my db with some uh, turmeric rice but salad aloko some ajk as well are great choices so i didn't film the part where i was cooking the turmeric rice for this specific recipe so i figured to use uh, an old clip from a different recipe already shared on the channel because i literally used the same step wash your basmati rice add some uh, turmeric powder a little bit of oil some uh, bay leaves a little bit of oregano as well and uh, that's literally it at the end i slightly change the process by adding some of my uh, homemade garlic paste that I shared with y'all earlier to get that garlicky flavor and yeah that was it on the meat I added the habanero peppers same as the onion sauce that I sauteed on the side just to get that smoky flavor as well on them here is your divi recipe guys i hope uh, you did enjoy today's recipe because i sure did this recipe here is amazing don't forget to like comment share and subscribe turn that bell notification drop a comment down below and i will see you guys on my next one thank you so so much for watching take care